Hey YouTube, so I've been gone for a long time. Um, I'm not using my usual camera. I did get a new camera, but I'm house sitting at this moment, so I don't have it with me. And I woke up today and was like, I just want to vlog. I don't know what the hell this video is going to be about. I don't know what I'll be talking about, but I'm bored. I'm really bored and I wanted to talk to you guys. How's your day going? <laughs> but no, on all seriousness, I just wanted to start blogging. Um, blogging. Uh, it looks like this video will have a delay reaction. Um, but bear with me. So I cooked the other day. And for those who don't know me, no, I don't cook. And it actually came out pretty good. I was really surprised at myself. I was I was proud of myself. It came out really good. Um I'm sorry, I just woke up. I just been eating chips and drinking bottles of water. I'm going to try to figure out how this carrot works. I hope I don't break it. My sister would kill me. <laughs> so let's make make something. Let's. Okay. So I got a little mug. This says Fabulous Las Vegas on it. Okay. So what I do guys. I just put this here. Oh it's too big. Okay. I need to get a smaller mug. See, we're already not starting off well. I don't think I can make coffee in this one. Let me grab. Let's see if this mug fits. Yay! First step down. First step down. We did it. Okay, now I need to see if it's water in here. Now, she did tell me how to use this before she left, but I don't fucking know what she said. So, what do I want? dropping stuff so I know many of my subscribers are for my full sale video when I did the launch box um, I have had a few questions about it I have answered some questions but I'm post grad. Is that it post? I've already graduated. <laughs> Full sale was a great experience. I'm not going to give deny them that. It was a great experience. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to figure this thing out. So full sale was a great experience. Um however, it is hard to find a degree in your field. I think it's more I think it's easier for the students on the campus, but if you're an online student, it seems to not come as easy. Because it's hard to find internships, especially if you're in certain areas of the um, country where uh, that field isn't really relevant. Um, 
a lot of places want you to already have like two years, four years, five years experience before you even get in the door, which is hard for me to understand because how can you gain experience in a field that isn't letting you in to gain that experience? So that's really frustrating for me, but I am still working at the job I was working at um, when I started uh, the full sale experience. Uh, so I'm growing in that company, but I want to use my degree. So what I've been doing is doing projects of my own. I'm working with a, um, a director. I'm trying to get my projects out there, make a name for myself by myself and not being under a company. If the opportunity does come where I can be with a network, a company, um, I will take the opportunity, but I want to use my degree now. I'm impatient, seriously. I'm impatient. If I want it, I want it now. So I'm still learning to take things as they come and when they're supposed to be for me. But, that's my opinion on full sale experience, and I think I just broke this damn carrot. Hold on. I think I need to add some more water, guys. Oh, something's happening. I don't know. Is this supposed to be this difficult? <laughs> I'm making it look harder than it probably actually is. But you guys like my shirt? But it's actually my sister's shirt, but I like it. <laughs> She's going to kill me when she sees this. Um, so, my hair. Let's talk about this. Uh, all of this. Let's talk about that. So I co-washed last night with the As I Am uh, co-wash and I put it up in a high ponytail. I flipped my hair over, put it up in a high ponytail while it was wet and then as it was drying I just let it loose and I actually like how the curl pattern came out. Um, yes I am all natural. I've been natural since the day I was born. Other than bleaching my hair like five or six years ago, um, I never put any other chemical like a perm or anything on my hair. The bleach did alter my pattern of my hair, but I still love what my hair is. Um, it could be worse. But I see a lot of black women going natural and I really love that. I'm upset that it took so long, but I really love the fact that we're all going natural. I was talking to my homeboy the other day, and we got into a real good, real deep discussion about race and all that jazz. And if he would do a vlog with me, I would really like that. I'll ask him next time he comes over. Um, but yeah, I think race, the topic of race should be an open discussion um so i'm not gonna get too much into it but i'll see if he wants to do a video with me about it um but yeah life updates other than graduating college 
my divorce finalized. Yay! I am happily divorced. I'm finally divorced and I love it. Um, it was a long time coming. supposed to do look at me being ditzy mm, mm, mm. excuse me <laughs> okay so it was a long time coming I'm happily divorced now I've been doing a lot of traveling I finally got my passport I believe two years ago two years ago I went to the Bahamas with my family uh, well, they're extended friends of my sisters, but they're like family now. So I call them family, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> um, so we went to the Bahamas. Um, we're going to, I'm going to Punta Cana at the end of this year, uh, December 2015, with my older cousin. He's for to celebrate his birthday. I'm not going to throw your birthday out there, um, your age out there. To celebrate his birthday and my brother wants to go to Jamaica next year for his birthday and my best friend's birthday is like I believe it's the same day or the day before his um so yeah we have a lot of birthdays and the year after that my sister has a big uh, milestone birthday and she wants to go to Europe, so I have very expensive friends. Yes, expensive friends and family. I have very expensive friends and family. I don't know where they think this money is coming from. I mean, damn, I have to work overtime just to go on the trip. <laughs> but, yeah, I love traveling. I'm glad I'm able to experience it. If you read my vlog about um, overcoming bullying, you know that if I succeeded in letting the bullies control me and ultimately succeeding in my suicide attempts, I would not be here to experience the life I have now. So I'm I'm happy and I'm content with life at this moment. Um, some more life updates. What else been going on? Oh, that came out really high. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to have to get one of these for the holes. That's really nice. So you know what I have to get. Marshmallows. Yeah. These marshmallows are supposed to be for s'mores for movie night, but it doesn't hurt to put some in my hot cocoa. So more life updates. Um, I am almost finished driving school. I have one class left and then I do my driving part of the driving school. Which is just three days of hour driving. And then I go take my test, my skills test. I get my provisional, hold that for about a year. And then I get my life full license. Um, yeah, Maryland is a money pit. All they want is money. I think, okay. Now, if you're in Maryland or you're in a state that requires driving school, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it helping us to learn how to drive by sitting in the classroom for three hours 
for 10 days reading and taking a test? Is that helping us become better drivers? Is that is that helping us learn how to drive? I think not. I think they really need to change the curriculum for driving school. I paid three hundred dollars for driving school, and I'm just sitting in the fucking classroom when I can read the book by myself. So I think it's a big money scam, but you have to do it to get the license. So that's why they're getting away with it. And you only get three hours on the road of driving school, which is how can you learn how to drive in three hours? That's so stupid. But yeah, that's my little rant. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. I don't care what you say. I'm not wrong. <laughs> but I know people will agree with me. That curriculum really needs to be changed because you're not learning learning how to drive. You're just being babysat. Basically, that's all it is. For three hours. Three hours of your day when you could be doing something so much more productive than just sitting in the classroom. Like, I don't understand it. There's some things in life you just don't understand at that time. I mean, it's so many people on the roads in Maryland that don't know how to fucking drive. And I'm like, how the hell did you get a license? Like, if driving school was how it's supposed to be. Those people would not be on the road. Like, seriously. These people cannot drive at all. You do not have to come to a complete stop to make a turn. That irritates me to the fullest. But, <laughs> okay, that was the end of my rant. But, seriously, it's annoying. So, what else? Life updates. Oh, I got my birth control implant out. I had the implant on. Um, it was okay. Uh, I think it's, I had, I was bleeding too much. I really was. It's okay, but the long menstruals that I did had was a pain. I will go through like a pack and a half of pads before I will come off. A pack of 24 and a half. And that's a lot of fucking bleed. And I should be dead. But I got the... Um, I took that out. And I got the... Nuvering. I think that's what it is. The thing that goes... No, the... um thing that goes in your uh, uterus. What the fuck is that? Y'all know what I'm talking... Well, the females, y'all know what I'm talking about. They they rant and they rant and raved when I was at the doctor. So they was like, "Oh, this is the best one. It's not gonna hurt, bitch. That shit hurt." I was like, "What the fuck? That shit hurt going in." So when it come out, ain't no ain't, no, ain't nothing. I was going up in there. I'll get this implant again, or I'll take I'll start popping those pills. But that shit hurt. Mm -mm, they lied to me. My feelings are hurt. They li they lied. <laughs> Mm, look at my cocoa, y'all. I do not want to spill this stuff on my sister's computer. Oh, it looks so yummy. I got to wait till it cool off. I don't want to burn my mouth. But yeah, they lied to me. Um, if you ladies have any recommendations on for, as far as birth control, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this ain't going back in. Once it come out, no. Hell no. <laughs> Oh, another update. I think I have a problem. I think I'm addicted to online shopping. I recently discovered Ebates and that was a wreck. Yeah. Um, I'm addicted. The fact that you can get money back for spending money is just like, I love it. Like, who invented that? <laughs> But yeah, I'm addicted to online shopping. Um, so yeah, I think every every female is. Some some males are addicted to shopping too. I'll go to the malls and they'll have more bags than the damn females. I'll be like, damn, 
Did you buy your girl anything? Are you being selfish? Are you just going to shop for yourself? Yeah, they be having more bags than the females. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, y'all have problems too. But, oh, another rant. The thing that pisses me off the most, like, where the fuck do they do that at? Is when niggas and women... I know, I'm, I'm sorry I'm using the N-word. Not many people like it. I use it when I, like, rant. Um, when men and women... I'll change it for you. I apologize. When men and women... Have on their Louis Vuittons or their Jordans. You and they're on the fucking bus. You just spent three hundred dollars on those Jordans, but you're on the bus. You just got that new iPhone six S, but you're on the bus. You just copy a new video game, but you ain't got money to pay me back, the fuck? You just got that new weave. But bitch, where's your job? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I be like, <laughs> I still got the bus. I Uber mostly, but I be like, what the fuck? Like, people do not live within their means, and that shit irritates me. Like, who are you trying to impress? That other person on the bus? Like, who are you trying to impress? Because the people you're trying to impress aren't even paying you any attention. I don't understand it. Impress yourself before you try to impress other people. But, yeah, that's my rant right there. Um, mm, this video is going on 23 minutes. Mm. It's going to be a long vlog. Let's take a sip of this hot cocoa. Because I ain't got no tea to drink to that. So we're going to sip this. <laughs> mm, that is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, honey. So. Oh, I know what I can make. Hey, have y'all guys tried this? It's the Jif Whips Pumpkin Spice. If not, how dare you not try that? It's so delicious. My sister got me turned on to it. She is like, it's so good. And you know, fall, everything becomes pumpkin, pumpkin spice. It starts to get, like, really repetitive. They make everything pumpkin spice scented, flavor. Everything pumpkin spice, but this shit right here, that shit is good. Want some toast, which I'm about to make. Mm -hmm. That's so good. <laughs> I know y'all laughing at me, but I'm so bored today. I just wanted to turn on the camera and just talk to you guys. I might play some makeup later. I don't think I'm recorded though, because the lighting isn't too good in the bathroom. Um, and I got my contacts, so I'll be putting on makeup, holding my glasses, like, <laughs> don't laugh at me, I made my appointment for the eye doctor, but it's, it seems like every year, my vision gets worse, and I'm not understanding why, now I have, uh, okay, when I was younger, I just had, Regular contacts and like regular contacts, like the regular Ecky views and stuff like that. Now I have astigmatism. I was like, really? Really? I thought I was going blind, but it's astigmatism. I cannot see anything. When I tell you I cannot see anything about my glasses, I cannot see anything. If I take my glasses off, I cannot see what's written on these magnets on the refrigerator. I kid you not. If I take my glasses off, you can read this. It says nice marshmallow. If I take it off, all I can see is the fucking shapes and colors. If I don't know what it says, I will not be able to tell what it is. Like, my vision is really bad and I think I'm going blind. So, I made another appointment for my... I went last year. I made another... No, two years ago. I made another appointment um, 
to go see my eye doctor again. Because if my prescription changed again, I'm gonna be like, you need we need to do something. Like I can't I cannot see. These glasses and contacts aren't working. I need to see. We need to do LASIK or something. I have been considering LASIK. But that's expensive. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what he gonna do, but I need to see. Like like sometimes I wanna be on the camera about my glasses. Like I need I need to see. I can't I cannot see like features in the camera. Like I can see my shape, my color, I can see colors. I can't see like distinct distinguishing figures features. And that's bad. That's really bad. So yeah. I'm just ranting today. <laughs> Yay, my toast is done. <laughs> I'm still here, guys. I'm just going to get a plate. Y'all going to see me eat breakfast. I made my hot cocoa. Let me get a butter knife. Oh, and I got my full sale uh, sweatpants on. It says full sale on the side of it. I work my school. I love full sale. But the job on is ass. So, yeah. But I still love my school. It was a great experience. I met some great people. I learned some great things. I learned that I can finish something that I started, which is awesome because I used to quit everything. And I actually finished this and I got a degree to prove it. Awesome. Mm, another rant. Why the hell is tuition so damn high? Can y'all answer me that? Why? Why is tuition high? My tuition is a fucking house. Why is that? You guys know? Because I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Even with scholarships, that shit's still expensive. And I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Why is college so expensive? I don't know. They need to fix that shit. My brother always makes the joke that Obama, before he leave, should be like, <laughs> anyone who graduated after in 05 and after that, your loans are forgiven. Any president that does that will get my vote. Republican or Democrat, I don't give a shit. Forgive our loans and you got my vote. Hint, <laughs> hint. That's how you're going to win. Mm. Excuse me. Don't judge me for eating on camera. This shit good. Excuse me, guys. I do not want to do this on camera. That would be kind of nasty. I am a lady at times. <sighs> what should I do today besides playing makeup? I am off today. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go. So. I do need to catch up on Doctor Who. I missed the last episode of Doctor Who. I am a Whovian. Shout out to the Whovians. If you're not a Whovian, what are you doing with your life? Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> I 
come after every bite. Like, I never ate food before. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out something to do with them. My sister lives right by a mall. But then I have to walk to it. And I'm lazy. So, I don't know about that. I might go sit on the porch and just look at the trees and birds fly around. Because it's a little nice outside. It rained all last week. Like Hurricane Akeem or something. Joaquin or whatever it was. Ugh. I would rather deal with rain though than snow. I hope it does not snow this year. Please do not let it snow this year, Mother Nature. I cannot deal with the snow. Maybe when I get a car, I wouldn't care. But until next year, please don't let it snow. I cannot deal with the snow. And I I am out of call outs at work, so mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So, I do envy everyone that doesn't get snow. Like, people in Orlando, LA, fuck y'all. <laughs> it's like, I love y'all. But no, fuck y'all. Y'all don't get snow. I wish I was there. And so, I have another rant. I work in retail. Now, everyone who works them, who has worked in retail, especially a store like Walmart or Walgreens, somewhere that has a toy aisle, around this time of the year, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, thanks, Thanksgiving, Christmas, the parents come in, start getting toys for their little gremlins. Why does the toy y'all look like that at the end of the night? I get it. You're looking through stuff. But why in the hell is everything on the shelf knocked over? Does it, does it take that much time to pick something up? Oh, no, I don't want that. And just sit it back neatly on the shelf instead of knocking every, every damn thing over. Why does the toy y'all look like that? Or, the parents are in there shopping for something else, but have their little gremlins with them. Instead of watching their child, they're just minding their business. They're on the phone, they're doing their thing, shopping. The kids are in the toy out. Let me take these off. The kids are in the toy out. All you hear is boxes falling, hitting the floor. I'm playing with the toys. You go in the aisle after they leave everything on the floor. Are you serious? When you came and got your child, you couldn't tell them to pick it up? I can imagine what your house looks like. Everyone in retail has experienced this, and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Control your damn kids. Please. Because it's annoying. So, yeah, <clears throat> let me put these back on. Mama had to get serious for a second because that's annoying. And it gets really irritating when y'all can't control y'all kids. As I know, back in the day when I was younger, I would got punched in the throat. No lie. I wish I would have walked away from my damn parents in the store. Okay. All right. Ain't no, oh, come here. Where are you? No. You got one. And you better be on there too. Be over there on two. Yep. Mm -mm. I'm going to find something to do. Because this video is going on 35 minutes. And I'm upload this as soon as I finish it. It looks like it's going to have a little bit of a delay. But 
it's not too much of a delay as some of my older videos, which is pretty good. I'm going to enjoy this toast with my pumpkin spice Jif Whips. Y'all really have to try this. This is good. So delicious. If I had bananas to slice up on here, mm, 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 mm. I'll holler at y'all later. 